Hi, thank you for opening this video. My name is Arlene Schiffer uh, from Hidden Beauty Designs, aka Miss May Werribee from MJ's Blues and Dance Club, Inside of Second Life. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cannabis leaf, very similar to one like this. I hope to also have the time to include how I make a complete necklace for it, um, different shapes, different sizes, no two come out the same. Um, you can use different colored wire, you can use silver, you can use copper, you can use um, different colors, blue, black, red, whatever you'd like. It's completely up to you. The beads in the middle are between three and four millimeters. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make one with a, I believe either three and a half millimeter, um, it's a light green ametrine. And for the necklace part, we'll be using some of these as well. And I have the best I could match up with with my supply are these um, green jades that I have. They're not perfectly round. They're a bit oval, but they're, they'll match. They won't clash. And um, they're really pretty. Very pretty beads. You're also going to need a few tools. We won't be using all of these, probably just one on each end and then um, more with the uh, smaller adventurines, keeping it uniform and pretty like. I'm going to be using a copper wire for all of this. Again, you can use any color you want. Um, silver, uh, go with uh, some of the coated coppers that have colors on them that's always festive um red especially this red and green this time of year for the holiday season and go earth tones too thanksgiving is more earth tones and christmas is bright reds and silvers and stuff like that for your tools you're going to need a file so that you can file down the piece that you're going to bend um once hammered you you going to be sharp and uh, you don't want it to scratch anybody if it's going to be a pendant or if it's going to be um, a pull tab you know like for a zipper or maybe you have one of those lamps in your ceiling that still have the cords you, you pull like in basements or something um, they make real decorative pull cords too um, I like putting them on my keychains I like putting them on my my pocketbooks and uh, different zippers but um, this is the base we're going to be using it. and uh, when you file it down file in one direction one direction don't go back and forth on your wire because it won't it won't do any good I've already filed this so we're not going to need that I have eight uh, three four five six seven oops, excuse me seven um, eight eight gauge or 18 gauge wires here I use as tools that's all they're used for you can see they're pretty scratched up and this one here is a 14 gauge also so you have seven of these one two three four five six seven and this makes eight those are going to be what you wrap around for your leaves I use this the bigger one at the top so that we're able to get um, a good size jump ring or even the wire to go through and it will keep it sturdy as well so it doesn't end up bending or falling off on you um, I use for the leaves in the wrapping I'm going to use a 24 gauge it's a dead soft wire I don't I'm going to go right off the spool I don't have the measurement for how much of this I'm going to be using so it's it's a few feet I've never measured it again so again your file you're going to need some flat nose to help squeeze your leaves down the points on the leaves of course you need cutters so you can cut your wire of course might need nylons not really sure I, I very rarely use them mine are really beat up I need new ones new heads I ran out um, if you want to keep loops, um, when you're going to make the necklace, making your loops and whatnot, I use a, a bail maker to keep them uniform. This isn't a good one. You can see in the middle it's kind of flat. 
um, so they're not perfectly round but they'll work for what we need and you also need because you're going to want to hammer you want to hammer and, and you could tell I use it just for my copper as well as the file I just use for copper in this plate as well just copper if you have a man mandrel or not a mandrel but an anvil um, or something similar wouldn't use wood it's soft you can hammer dents into it and uh, you won't get what you're looking for so this thing weighs about a thousand pounds so you need to be he-man to pick it up <laughs> my husband made it for me he thought I was strong but at any rate let's start get things out of the way I'm gonna take my this is my base wire it's 18 gauge I filed the end so that when I hammer them out um, they're not going to scratch the person and it's very small it's about two inches long um, in centimeter wise let's see centimeter wise six centimeters approximately and that's about we're almost at two and a half inches two and a quarter inches there you don't need much more than that to get a, when you when we fold it to shape the leaf you're almost real close to folding it in half you're not losing a lot of length so and you don't want your pendants way way long um, so keep that in mind when you're cutting off your base piece I begin I grab some of the wire get some of it out get these guys out of the way and I wrap so that my wire is going to come to the front front to back make sure they stay together and you can always fix your end when you're done it's going to be in the way to two or three wraps bring in this is going to be tool base wire wrap wire the one that we're going to be using but I call it a tool this is the first one Go around it once, bring the wire in through the middle between them, and put on another wire. Wrap around the two of them, like so. Bring your wire all the way to the back to the bottom. Go back up so that you're going to capture those two wires again, like so. See? Bring your wrapping wire up around your base wire one time. Wrap it around once, nice and tight. Back up. Repeat the, what you just did with these. Keeping them nice and tight. When you get up to the, when you're even, slide your wrapping wire in between the, the, the top wire in the middle wire and then add another wire in each each step each leaf this is one leaf this is the bottom leaf um, each one gets two extra wires you'll see what I'm talking about wrap bring it underneath the wire you just added so it goes through the two bring that back up add a wire This is going to start curling up on me. You got two wires above the previous one. Wrap it all the way around. Go down two wires so you're even. Whoopsie. Three wires. Excuse me. So they're even here. And go back down. And keep them as close as you can if you need your flat nose to help squish them together like so it's starting to slide out on me Certainly isn't acting like a dead soft. So 
almost got that uh, slight half hard feel to it. My 20, 24 gauge, my wrapping one, it's got a little stiffness to it. But I kind of like it for this because it makes the leaves a little bit more stiff. When you come down around, don't forget to wrap it around your base wire one time. And that gives it a little bit of a separation so when we do fold them, it doesn't, the, the leaves don't end up separating. Let me start to repeat this process going back up. I'm going to undo this. Oops, excuse me. The camera is really close to me. <laughs> so I'm going to bump you a little bit here and there. Back up. Okay, now we're even. Bring this to the top layer. We add our wire. We're on our third leaf. We're going with a seven leaf cannabis leaf, or seven uh, point cannabis leaf. Um, everybody has a version, I guess. I go with seven. And two wires up each one, remember? And this, and you got your second wire up there, bring us down three, so you're even with the previous, bring it through, you got the point at the top, see the point? you're noticing and I'm not saying anything when I bring the wire down I press it to the back um, so it's pressed against the back so it's nice and um, uniformed and, and you don't have extra wire slack in your wire and then when I bring it through and back up over I press it down for the same reason so there's no slack in the wire and you don't you end up you won't have bumps the inconsistencies. I'm not a perfectionist, but sometimes, sometimes, you know, this is leaf or petal number three. Point petal. Excuse me again. Give it a squish. Yeah. One more to go, and then we're going to start coming down. Whoops, missed the wire. I've used these so much, these poor base wires, my tool wires. Getting so beat up, might have to make new ones. I just went up three there. Tap one even. I'm going to go up the extra 
steps. I'm going to add my two wires. First one is the 18 gauge. Go around it like you do with all the others. And now the next one is the thicker one, the 14 gauge. And go around it like that with both wires and then I'm going to come through go around it again like this and then so you've got you're still keeping with the same uniform pattern but it's a little bit more secure in um, you won't it won't bend as easy it's thick enough or big enough so that you can get a, a good size strong jump ring or uh, a one and a half millimeter cord or something of the sort. It's a good size um, top piece. But it's something you might want to consider doing. If you don't have this kind of wire and you don't have the uh, a bigger, thicker, like a 14 gauge or a 16 gauge or something like that, you can use your needle nose pliers for it as well. It'll work the same. It's a little more difficult to hold on to. Now, because this top one's going to slide all over the place on me, I'm I, I can remove it. It's kind of going to just go everywhere. I keep bumping the camera. I'm so sorry. I'm going to keep this next top one there for stability. Once you get to uh, making these a couple of times, you're going to whip them out like nothing. They're easy to make. They don't take very long. This took a, a little time because it's the two tutorial. But I've been, I've been making them 10-15 minutes, just whipping them out. Of course, the necklace part takes a, a, um, a few minutes longer. <laughs> of course. Okay, we've got our center leaf all done. And honestly, it doesn't matter if they're squished together that much right now. Because you're still going to fold them, shape the leaf. But I'm going to take this air wire, the top ones out, because what happens is... I'll make the mistake and continue all the way to the top and I want to stop at this wire and then uh, I'll remove these when I'm done with the leaf on this side and I'll keep removing the wires so I don't make the mistake and weave all the way to the top. Okay, stop. Let's bring this a little bit more. Go up. Yeah, I bumped you again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> please, please click my like button before I hit this camera again. <laughs> Uh, also, I will be uploading more and more tutorials for people. Um, the more I upload and the more I do, the better they will get, I'm sure. Um, like with anything, practice makes perfect. And I'm not very good at the video. And I should be. With my venue, we should have videos all over the place. We're in the venue for seven, going on 13 years now, actually. <laughs> So, and I don't have any videos on it. Uh, 
privacies, you know. They're independent musicians that we work with, and uh, I just prefer to keep their privacy unless otherwise I get permissions, which I do have. And I don't like to abuse that stuff. We do a lot of promoting, and we host live concerts, and especially this time of year, a lot of benefits that are going to be going on. I bet you I'm off the camera, aren't I? Okay, this leaf is done, so I'm going to pull these out. Sometimes they slide out easy. Sometimes you need a little help from your friends. And the tools are your friends. Looking pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> Certainly looks like a forest. <laughs> dogs and looking for their kitties. Coyotes have been running amok the past few nights. Okay, now we're going to go with our last feeder leaf. Pretty much done there. I'm gonna need some to wrap the base a little bit, just a little bit, not a lot. Get these all out of the way. Break a bead out before I started. I apologize. I'm just gonna grab any one. There's our star of the show. I forgot a scrap piece of wire to wrap that in. I like to use something a little bit smaller than the 24 gauge to wrap the bead in. I have. Uh, that's not what I want. I believe this is a 26 gauge, um, just a scrap piece, um, and I'm going to use that to tie the bead in, and you'll see how we do that in one moment. Pull the rest of these out. Leaving the bottom one in. Don't forget, that's <laughs> you need that. Oops, there again. Okay, put the rest of these away. Or to the side, anyways. Now, what I do is I try and squish it together. They don't have to, your ends, I wouldn't exactly keep them even, um, but you can. And what I do is I'll fold one end up, and that's going to pretty much keep that in place that way I can squish it together <laughs> make it nice and tight it's gonna just spring back on you and bring that one up so now it looks kind of like that almost like you're putting it into a frame Alrighty. so this is the back side since it's a little fluffier looking and this is the front side it's a little more uniformed with the um with the spikes go. 
whatever you want to call them. Now what I do normally here is really difficult to do. Not difficult, but if you don't have something to hold these things, you don't want to separate anything. So in the middle, try to keep in the center here, in the center of your leaf, middle leaf. I'll bring it around. It's not going to work. So I guess I'm going to do it by hand. Bring it around, keeping it as even as possible. I really want it to be round. And then close. It's really close. Fold these back out. I want it rounder. Let's go a little rounder. And this is where I bring this guy in most of the time. a little bit better. Do you make them as round as you can? Even though the bead's going to pretty much hide most of any mistakes you think you've made. You think you've made. You haven't made them. Nature isn't perfect. It makes us think we are. <laughs> now you could use one of these to put your bead on. But I just think personally it's too thick. But let's see how it works. I might not. My kitty over there probably found a bug or something. She likes to announce it to the world. I kind of don't like how that. These are pretty. I put it in between the separators, in between the leaf. It's kind of hidden. You can still see it too much. My eyes, you can see it too much. Okay, I'm going to go my normal way. That's what the Smaller wire. Put my bead on it now. Show you what I do. Make sure I'm on the front side. Put my bead on. Oopsie. And kind of just wrap it around to the back. And twist it on. Nice and tight. But not too long. And now this part's going to blow you away. Didn't think I was going to like doing this this way at first, but it works out perfectly. Just going to clip these. You 
you can take round nose or your flat nose and just and the kitties are at it tuck it in underneath the bead like there it doesn't come through and you don't feel it against your skin there's no scratches and that's it and take your feeder leaves shape them I just give them a bend downwards like that. and now with this we have I'm gonna take it and go this way so wrap around it about three times just to keep it closed, give it a nice neat look. And then we clip it. If I can find my there. there. Oops again. Because this is going to be open a little bit, we can almost maybe tuck that into underneath a little better. So it'll be out of sight and off your body. No scratching. <laughs> I am so sorry about that. Oops. Got to do too much of a bump there. I wasn't small enough. Okay, so here's your front. Looks pretty nice. This part gets cooked now. doesn't make you jump as much as it makes me jump every time I hit the camera. That doesn't look too bad. Now I'm going to hammer these. Um, shape them first. However you want to shape them, I'm not sure. I was thinking of leaving these straight, but um, how about we hammer them instead and uh, give them a little bit of a, a, a twist. I'm going to use this for this. I don't know why. More dancing little guys. They're just so cute. Kind of look like ribbon. Let's hammer. This is my favorite part. Probably should have hammered before I put the bead in. Okay, now the two tony in here. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm gonna take the bead right off of the edge. Um, can you see what I'm doing? 
I can't. Yeah. Okay, we're going to move this. Hold on. Okay, I moved this down to my lap so I could see what I was doing, and hopefully you can too. Um, I told the bead kind of off of my plate because I don't, I don't want the pressure to hurt it, but it also keeps it even. I'm going to nip me. I know I'm going to hit me. <laughs> but just... Uh, you want to get your ends a little flatter than the tops, but you also want to keep it as even as possible. So kind of you know, up and down, up and down, flip. Not too much pressure on the plate. You're going to end up with little um, um, marks from the edge there on your, your wire. So just enough to hold it down so it's not bouncing while you're hammering. Just a little bit and this is going to give it some strength and of course you know that texture everybody likes that hammered look i know i do especially if i do it because then i know my frustrations have been released for the day <laughs> oh that's good um i think that'll do and because i've already filed it it feels really good down here already but uh it's kind of a flimsy little babies but they're sturdy at the same time. I really like them. Hold on, let's move everything back to... <laughs> Pardon me. Let's see if I can get this. Where are we? Alright. Can you see? Can everybody see? I think so. Okay, so, and that's... How we are going to do that one now let's put a um bail and stuff i'm going to use 22 because i ran out normally i would use a 20 gauge or even because i used a um a, a, a good size 14 16 gauge i can even use an 18 gauge to go through there but again, I have plum run out of all my wire, so I really don't want to use that. Um, these are spares, but I don't want to use those either. I'm going to use I want 20 gauge. Actually, I'm going to use the 22. That way, we can ensure it's going to go through all the beads. 22 gauge or 20 gauge will normally go through some of the smaller beads. Um, 18 might not, um, but 20 and 22 will definitely go through, and it's not going to be all that big, so it will work out nicely. I'm gonna grab two of these more beads. Pretty. I like the natural colors. You got the uh, the flaws and the blemishes and in the dimples and the cracks and and it's not perfect. There's always something new to see when you have uh, naturals. And I like that a lot. So I'm gonna just uh, kind of give it a, a little bit of room so I can wrap, make it. Um, you know, paint it pretty. Get a little decoration. I'm going to try and stay on the same size of my needle nose so that I can have um, uniformed loops. Or instead, I can make sure and ensure the fact that I have uniformed loops by using my bail maker. The small part, even though it's probably going to be bigger than the bead. <laughs> It'll look bigger than the bead, but I 
just wrap around a couple of times. You don't want a whole lot of copper to show, but you want to see craftsmanship at the same time. Um, people do enjoy looking at that too. And it gives it more of an appeal. <laughs> After you've done your first loop, put a bead on, and then your leaf, and another bead, your other bead. And that gives it its own little bail, you know, and it's matching. And yes, I have kitties. I have fluffies everywhere, don't I? I love kitties. I'm going to make sure you're going to have enough room for a couple of reps, but you don't want too much room. You do want enough room so there's going to be enough um, for the uh, beads and your pendant to move around. You don't want it to be stiff. Oops. Sorry again. That might be too big, too much room in between, I'm thinking. But I'm going to have to deal with it. <clears throat> and there you have, let's get this down, one pendant almost ready to go. From here you can add chain and see it's still Supposed to be having a little more room in that. There we go. So you want it to be able to move freely like that. Now we can uh, finish off and do something like this. Um, or you can just add other beads. And what, what I was planning to do was uh, make a little necklace that will go up like so with a couple of beads. So let me pause this for a second. I'll get out some more material and we'll do that. Okay, this is what I've decided. I'm going to go with a uh, one big bead and three small. Um, as I'm going, I might decide to add a fourth. Not too sure. But what we're going to do first is this is going to have to be attached. Um, I might just do the three beads and then um, make a, a, just a couple of um, eye loops on the end of one bead, both ends of one bead, and attach it that way. I'm not too sure yet. We'll see as we go on. But to keep it nice and uniformed, I'm going to begin with a, I've got two pieces, about three inches long, 22 gauge wire. Um, going to make uh, the eye loops at the end of one real quick and 
usually use my tool to keep things straight but sometimes it's a little too close so I scrape my nails and I just given up on beautiful nails instead I have beautiful creations the nails will come later And so the hair and makeup, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. What do I need to look gorgeous for? Gorgeous just the way I am. <laughs> and if you've ever seen me, you would differ. All right, I've also got a couple pieces, about five inches, six inches. Don't need that much of 24 gauge. Back to my 24 gauge. Um, this is used for a lot of stuff. I'll tell you what, it's going to. Fold it in half. It doesn't have to be beautiful. But I kind of want to get it around this wire as tight as I can. At the top. Because we're going to use it to wrap the other beads. Onto this wire. The 22. So I've got it around there. It's pretty in there. I start with my large bead and there goes a small one rolling away. Escape bead. Mm -hmm. Pinching it so it's as tight to the top as I can get. I'm going to hold it all the best I can all together. Take one real tight up against it. Go around all the way around like that. Excuse me. And then the next one, same thing. Make sure that's nice to the top, the best that it can go. Bring this, instead of going to the top, you want to go to the bottom. Nice and tight around that bead. And then around your wire. Good and tight. And you got, it's kind of in there like that. Next bead, same thing. Nice and tight. Bottom wire from the bottom. Gonna go over the top, nice and tight. Good and tight. Top wire over your bead again, but you go to the bottom of your base wire, going underneath. And around the top, nice and tight. Two. That's kind of pretty. Another small bead. Keep going around like so. Like so. Should we do another one? That's gonna look pretty good. Um Do one more. I know less is more. Oops, sorry. And that one down at the bottom. You see, I had overkill on the wire here. Nice and tight. Just gonna bring this around one more. And we're gonna cut it. <clears throat> oh, I have them on my lap. Same with this. Just give me more little. And then I'm going to cut it. gonna look good either way. Um, can you see how no two are alike? Something I really like about this craft anyways. 
everything comes out different. You know, I still gonna have a hard time. It looks it just looks better than I anticipated. I'm gonna start the next one. Actually, let's keep this short. Let's attach. Let us attach. Now, how do we want to do this? Do we want to keep it like that? Or do we want to? Go like this. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to take one of these. This is... These are all 24. This is one of the 22s. I'm going to loop this one. Give it the eye loop. Final destination. Looks pretty good. Oopsie days. And I think I'm going to go like this with um, one in the middle. A small one in the middle. That's too much. I don't want to waste that. Now, to do this, we need to attach it to both of them while we're making it. So, that's always fun to do. <laughs> I don't mind it anyway. Whoops, we don't want to close that right yet. I'm going to leave this open for a second because it's got to go on. Here first, then we can get it together. Whoopsie. All right, if I just stop bumping. Kind of small. I didn't leave myself much of a tail. <laughs> Keeps twirling around on me. Beautiful. That's perfect. Sorry, you can't. Be Got a cute, funny, fresh little bead. Gonna be pretty. No, we don't want to do that with the cutters. Mm -hmm. and I need to attach this end as well to this, so before I close it up, I've got to remember to do that. Make 
sure it's neat, pretty even. And we wanted to go this way. So we could this way. Try to be comfortable doing this and have it in the wrong position for my hands. Oops, sorry. I bet you're tired of hearing me say that. get it I'll fix all the little pieces that are hanging and neaten it out some um, but what do you think of that we just started our own uh, complete cannabis necklace here the little garden is growing <laughs> yeah. and I hope that uh, helped you a lot I'll finish the rest of it up and have it in Facebook for you to see. Maybe um, I can include it somehow in the video. I don't know how to do that. But uh, you've got the complete part right there. Uh, you can add, if you want, keep going with um, a, a beaded chain if you wanted. Similar to this, you know, a couple of beads at a shop. And just make them in small links going up and around if you wanted to and then a hook for the back that would look really really pretty um, if you're good at mixing and matching colors which I am NOT as you can see um, I mean heck I was gonna add this color to it and that would really just have been horrible um, <laughs> so <laughs> if uh, you want to add um, like I had here I have just uh, attached my own suede and I haven't finished it it still needs to be trimmed and finished off at the ends with a, a connector for the back but it's on there and it looks really nice I've had a lot of great feedback for these necklaces and um, the sales are starting to pick up so if this helps you out any then that's really great uh, again I'm Marlene Schiffer um, Miss May Werribee in Second Life. I'm from uh, Hidden Beauty Designs. You can find that in Facebook. You can also find me, Arlene Schiffer, in Facebook. You can also find MJ's Blues Club in Facebook, um, which is what Miss May Werribee and Captain Jack Blazer owned for the music venue. Uh, thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, I'll have more videos coming up, probably getting better as I go along. <laughs> and But for all of that, Thank you for your support and your likes and your mentions and your shares. It's been awesome. Um, together, we will make this place a beautiful world, won't we? Have a great one.